Yeah. Live and direct with your boy BB, man. This boss more being for the win. Slide through. Dropping that mail on that grill. And uh, today I'm coming with something super duper exclusive. It's called the chicken burrito. All chicken, rice, and uh, cheese, man. No vegetables, no nothing. Just chicken, rice, and cheese, man. Very exclusive. Very, very, very exclusive, man. I'm trying to tell you, I do this. So, and I'm gonna drop this chicken on this grill real quick. I'm gonna get that going for y'all first before I do anything else. Get this chicken on this grill. Now I'm coming with three, three pounds of chicken. That's what I'm dropping on there. Three pounds of chicken. This is the chicken that they uh, they selling at the moment. A back country. Premium chicken, man. It comes chunky too, which is good. You want your chicken chunky. You want your chicken chunky, man. Ask around. I ain't gonna tell you just like I told you. You want your chicken chunky. So. That's two. Alright. One more push. And we're gonna get to mixing and seasoning and then I'm gonna get this rice ready. The crazy part is uh, the crazy part is how simple this is, the way it's gonna taste is so crazy. That's the crazy part. It's, it's such a simple meal. How good it's gonna taste when it's done is the crazy part. Cause it ain't it ain't all you know it ain't all as crazy as it, as it as you might think. But yeah, you know lemon pepper bin. As soon as I get started with this, you know lemon pepper bin gonna do. It's gonna do lemon pepper bin. I was gonna put some lemon pepper on that chicken. What you thought I was gonna do? <laughs> yeah, lemon pepper bin for the win. What is happening? Well, all right, but yeah, so I mean. I dropped that song for y'all today. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen not one bad review. Everybody was feeling it. Everybody was talking. They all feeling it. Everybody said they digging it. That's crazy. They're like, where'd that come from? Ben? I don't know, man. It's my debut, man. I hope y'all like that, bro. You ain't seen the song yet and you watching this. Chef Ben could also make music, man. Go check it out. Go check the song out. I know it's a lot, but I'm just trying to fire this chicken up. No, that's a lot right there, but I'm trying to fry this chicken up, so. I'm going to put a lot on it so we can get frying. You know, the grease inside the, uh, the mayos is what fries it up. But, okay, so. A little bit of garlic powder on the chicken. Yeah, that would do it. A little bit of this. Grill mates on the chicken. Grill mates on the chicken. Yeah, that'll do it. And last but not least, actually, it's gonna be a couple more things, real quick. Real quick, it's two more things. I just gotta find one of them. I can't find him right now. I'm looking for him. There you go. Bam. The trusty salt, man. Not a lot, but enough. Not a lot, but enough for sure. With the salt, you gotta be, you gotta really be, you gotta be frugal. But you do gotta put enough because it does require some. And last but not least, we come with that cayenne wing sauce to turn it all the way up. Okay, now mixing one in. Mind you, that chicken was already frying on the bottom. It was already doing something to it. But now you gotta mix in the mayo with all the seasonings and and give it a chance to really cook. And give it a chance to really do what it's supposed to do. And then, once we once we do that, mix it all in, then we're gonna get the rice ready. Cause this is just rice, these burritos are just rice, chicken, and cheese, man. Rice, chicken, and cheese. And you know what else? The secret ingredient. Sour, cheddar and sour cream. I think that's what it is, cheddar and sour cream ruffles. 
cheddar and sour cream ruffles crushed up. That's the secret ingredient. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's the real deal secret ingredient. It's what's going to wake them all the way up. Wake these chicken burritos up, man. And, and, and I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not dreaming that it's going to do that. This is what it do. This ain't no experiment. This is what you call a well-versed meal with a recipe. You know what I'm saying? This is it's probably number five or number six at Bendy's, man. At Ben and House, man. Ben and Sabachi House. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever y'all want to call it, this is probably number six. So yeah, for now we're gonna let that cook for a second. And we're gonna get we're gonna get hold on me. Move some of this trash out the way. Move some of this trash out the way real quick. And we're gonna get right right ready with this uh with this rice concoction. Let me see. Okay. Bam. Here we go. So we got that. Got a little bit of rice right here. Drop him in there. Definitely not enough rice. We'll have to pop another bag. Hold on. Ain't a big deal. Let me just grab it. Get it hot. Yeah, chicken over there frying. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. I like fried chicken. I like fried chicken, y'all. Right. So then we come in like this. Let me see if we can get some little clarity on there. Okay. Bam. Just enough. We don't want we don't want too much rice. Just enough. And that should be enough right there. That should be enough. Really probably too much, but you know it is just chicken and rice for everything. Chicken, rice, and cheese, so you know. Ain't got too much stuff we gotta put in here, but alright. Now that we're here with the rice, you already know I'm coming Sazon for sure. That's his own for sure going in there. Alright, yeah, nice his own that. Alright, some garlic powder going in that thing. For sure. Some nice and garlic powdered up. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I right. doing all the extras. Just a little bit of salt. That's really all you need with this. Garlic powder, some sazon, and a little bit of salt. That's what's going to get your rice right. That's what's going to get your rice right right there. Alright, so now we got that ready. We're going to take him over here, and we're going to drop, uh, yeah, we're going to drop, man, look at him, okay, hold on a second, get him over here, get him in the bowl, drop that hot water on him, okay, looking good, alright, looking good, that was enough, unplug that pot, we don't need him for nothing, Perfect. That's what it's supposed to look like. So the seasoned rice. That's what it's supposed to look like right there. All right. Now, back on this chicken. See what this chicken doing over here. And look at it. He's just frying up just right. He's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. So, yeah, it's gonna be another. Like, I, like I said, it's gonna be a minute. I got a mission. The whole meal that I'm doing for y'all. So I'm gonna hit y'all up when this chicken is what it's what it's supposed to look like. Cause I ain't gonna put nothing else on the chicken. I'm just gonna let him cook. So when he's when he's ready, when he look like what he's supposed to look like, I'm gonna get back on camera with y'all, man. Alright. Been out, man. I'll be right back. Now too. This this chicken almost ready, right? It's almost ready. But look at this. So the secret ingredient. I put them up. Is these. Cheddar and sour cream thing, okay? Now, that's what's going on. That's what's going on right now. tell y'all this is where it gets real tricky i'm talking about that's where you get that real flavor flavor from right there i'm telling you ain't nothing like it ain't nothing like this burrito i'm about to have tonight or these burritos i'm about to have 
tonight. Ain't nothing like it. I'm telling you, but that's where the flavor flag really, really come from. Them right there, that wake up that rice, but it wake up that whole burrito. Watch, watch, man, watch. I'm trying to tell y'all, I know what I'm doing. Well, looks, I think that chicken is ready. Let me let me set y'all up real quick. I really do believe that that chicken is ready. Let me see. All right, so now it's ready. If it is ready, now it's ready. It's gonna go in here. Okay, yeah, you know what? It's ready. But to be honest, y'all ain't gonna watch this because I gotta do a lot of preparation until I start rolling burritos. So because like you just want to cook that mayonnaise up out of the chicken. You really mayonnaise. You don't see no creamy. Nah, ain't none of that. That's how you know you really, you really cooked it all because it ain't no more creamy. But all right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, so just in case y'all are unaware, chicken, cheese, that ruffle rice, and just in case y'all are unaware, whenever you're making a burrito, especially these single wrap burritos, make sure you wet your tortilla, man, period. That's something that you got to do every single time. You got to wet that tortilla. See? My bad, man. The cheese was not trying to, you feel me? It was acting crazy. All right, so step one. You got the cheese. That's the step one, man. You want to spread that cheese. Since it's, since it's, since it's wet, it's going to be a little harder to spread since the tortilla is wet. But this is how you get your tortillas to stick. I don't know if y'all ever seen a video of people trying to wrap the burritos and the tortillas don't stick. Well, this is how you avoid that. Just wet the tortilla, man. But there, so that's the first step. Cheese. We'll get him. After the cheese, come chicken. Now, I'm only making six burritos. And I got quite a bit of chicken. And I got quite a bit of rice. So these are definitely going to be chunky. Definitely going to be chunky. And there's certain things I need both hands for. It's all right. That's enough chicken for the first little step right there. But I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, well, that's step three, cheese again. You feel me? Cheese again. And then once you come cheese again, now ruffle rice. Like I said, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of this ruffle rice. And like I said, I'm only making six. So I got to make it make sense. Got to make it all fit, man. That's fat burrito. Look at him, for sure. Fat burrito. But all right, that's enough. Because at this point, put a little more cheese. I'm going to set this shit up too right now. Because uh, now I got to roll it, y'all. But... Before I roll it, but hold on a second. All right, so here we are. We're gonna get this roll on. That's what we're gonna do for sure. Let's see, man. So that's how you really get it. You want to stuff it in there. Shake your mat. Pull them across the top. Make sure it don't bust. Because these motherfuckers be busting. Make sure it don't bust. Rolling. And then bam. There you go. That's your good little I'm talking about. I always like to stuff the backs like this. Alright, but let me make the rest of these things. Let me make the rest of these things. <laughs> I'm gonna put the blooper in there though, I don't care. But let me, let me make the rest of these things real quick. And then, I hit y'all up when I'm frying them. Oh my gosh. Alright, boy. 
All right, look, see, it looks foggy. I, I don't know if I got it foggy. Let me try to wipe it down. Okay, it looks a little bit better. But yeah, so this how you this how you get the whole thing cooked right there. But I just want y'all to know something. Boy, this gonna be so good. That's about good, good. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get some put in there real quick. He's gonna be so good. Look at this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try him in this bowl right here, real quick. Just real quick though, cause I gotta clean some other bowls. But yeah, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is it. That's him. And I ain't gonna lie, like I still gotta fry the double, double, uh, double blue pepper that, that I had made. I'm gonna fry him too. Still, I wonder, I wonder how he gonna look though. But this is how it's supposed to look when you wrap it right and everything get done correctly. He like this, and I'm really in the second here. I'm gonna pop one of these open for y'all. Let y'all see how the inside look right before I eat it. But man, live and direct with your boy Ben, man. Live and direct with your boy Ben for real. Now I hope y'all like the music. My frontliners, y'all pulled up on me. You know what I'm saying, man, share that shit. If y'all feel like, cause a lot of y'all said, man, need to be on the industry or we'll do, man, share that shit then, man. Let's get the message out there that, you know, the streets do come with consequences, man. It ain't all fun and games, bro. Like, if you really live, if you really live that life, and, and I try not to use too much vulgarity, period, when I talk, but if you really live that life, then you understand, like, that it's not, all fun and games, it come with a lot of pain. And, you know, a lot of times when you're looking at the industry and you're looking at things for how they promote them, it makes it seem like it's all fun and games, you know? And I ain't gonna lie, like, that's just not the truth. So somebody gotta be a truth teller and tell people like, bro, like, this is not all fun and games. Like, yeah, I made some good old burritos, right? But, bro, this ain't what I want to be doing. I'm just making a burrito. I want to make shit grill, which is cool. It's cool. Make shit look grill. This thing, bang. It's fun to be fire. Like, you know, for the past years, that's what I've been doing, though. So, let me see. I'm about to put some more mayo on here and, and get started. But, like I said, I've been doing this for years, though. So, it's like I'm used to it. It's whatever. But, you know, it's more to life. And that's my point. It, it really is more to life, bro. And, uh, even though it's cool, like right now I'm chilling, I'm not hurting, I'm not going to complain or cry about nothing I'm going through. Like, this ain't what I want to be going through, this ain't what I want to be doing. So I just want to put the message out there that, like, yeah, it's, it's more to life, yo. For real, for real. All right, but I'm going to be out there. Hold on. Let me set this shit up for y'all, because now I got to roll it before I roll it. A little bit of chicken on top. And then, a little bit of chicken on top. And then a little bit more chicken on top. And last but not least, good old El Pato, which goes on everything and anything. Then, all right, let me set this up and show y'all how to roll. I've had people tell me I don't know how to roll. Had other people tell me that my roll is fantastic. So, you know, I can stay whatever y'all feel, you know. Hopefully y'all can see it. Not enough to really have an opinion. But if y'all can't, either way. Yeah, so bam. I'm coming side to side. I'm dropping this. I'm dropping this like this. Oh man. Y'all done missed it. Hold on. My hands got a little bit of stuff on it, but I'm still gonna pick y'all up and finish the roll, cause let me get this stuff up on here. All right, hold on. All right. All right. Let me get you some gum, bro. Let's do it right there. I guess y'all probably missing it regardless. Let me see what I mean. Yeah, see, now that'll hold him. Bam. All right, now look, there we are. Like I said, you're gonna fold him in, pull him over. Wow, I done broke the tortilla. So with this type of situation, when you break the tortilla, 
you come in new towards you. I'm just gonna drop this on another towards you. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm just gonna drop him on another one because we're not gonna do all that again. And I'm not gonna wet this one because well, I really need to, to be honest. But let me see, bro. But that's crazy. It's already such a fat burrito to be doing. <laughs> to be doing this way. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show y'all another world, bro, because I cannot just be my legacy just be the broken burrito guy. But yeah, this is the double. It's the double, double wrap thing. <laughs> yeah, somebody go ahead and eat that double wrap thing for sure. Yes. You feel me? That's that one that I fucked up on. Y'all see the back of it. He big as fuck. We got them fried up. Got these couple two right here, right? I'm trying to think how I can set it up so y'all can see it. I can see it, uh, a breakdown of it for real. Drop the deodorizer. Let me see this. I got it. I got it, man. Yeah, okay. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, man? Look at him. I split him open. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at that boy, man. Y'all see it? He in there melted up. She's all throughout. I'm about to break him down and eat the fuck out of him right now. Hold on. I'm down though. I don't want to do too much. <laughs> I know y'all seen that though, but hold on. Let me address y'all real quick before it gets too serious. Let me address y'all real fast, though. Yeah. Let's address y'all real, real fast, quick, in a hurry. Before I gotta finish cooking. You know? Yeah, I just wanna make something clear real, real quick, man. To those of y'all who's saying I'm fake, like I'm not incarcerated, man, look, bruh. Man, look, but oh, man, if that's how y'all feel, then that's how y'all feel. But uh, check it out. You know what I'm saying? To everybody that love me, been messing with me for so long, I want y'all to check out my music. And uh, yeah, Baltimore been out, man. Shout out to the frontliners. You know what? Hold on.